to what it is, man. It's your boy Young, and you already know I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, all I ask that you do is like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment down below, and tell your boy what's up. If you're old to the channel, man, you already know what it is. Call me hard hat shorty, man. Oh, and I'm certified. Look at that. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that. And I'm certified. Yeah. I'm out here certified, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm out here at a steel plant right now in Darlington, South Carolina, man. Getting a load of steel, man. Man, this is my first time ever doing steel. I'm assuming it's heavy. They say about 44,000 pounds. Ain't nothing that I ain't used to pulling. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, 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 I know I've been going for a couple of days, but guys, I've been trying to get it together, man. You know, studying the load board, you know, calling these brokers, making sure I can get me a load Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm to the house Friday, man. You already know. Your boy out here doing good, man. So, um, I appreciate everybody dropping in the comments, showing your boy love. All your, uh, your, your comments in the comment. I appreciate that. And y'all, I ain't gonna be putting moms and pots on the vlog like that. I'm gonna just keep it about me because it started with me. Um, I just thought it was a little dope. And let me go ahead and clear the air. No, my mother and father are not together. They're not. And it was so dope to me because out of 34 years of my life, last week was the first time I ever been around my mom and dad that long. It's just what it is, man. It's just what it is. I love my mother. I love my father. And uh, it's just dope to see them, you know, come so far in life. And now we all able to work together. So they just business partners. Me and my dad business partners, you know, um, but it ain't none of that. So don't get that idea that, you know, my mom and dad is together. They're not, but it's good to see my parents can get along and get out here and make this money. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm gonna sit here and pay attention to this doggone what's going on out here because it's kind of interesting. Look at this joker right here. Where he at? Look at, look, hold on, wait a minute. They, they squeak out here about, uh, look at that, look at that. They squeak out here about, you know, hard hat, uh, glasses, steel toe boots, pants, and long sleeve. I ain't even got on no long sleeve, but hey, it is what it is. Load me up and I'll stay in the truck and I'll get out here and do my thing, man. But yeah, flatbed, it's something, it's something different every day, man. Something different every freaking day. Every day. So that's a aluminum, that's a magnet picking up that uh, steel. It's pretty interesting, man. Every day is something different. Every day is something interesting. And it's getting hot. It's getting hot. Yeah. So they came on the radio on the CB and told me to pull in lane two, bay zero. I ain't know what I was doing, but I, hey, I, one thing about it, I know how to read and write. So I just followed your directions, followed the signs, and uh, yeah. I'm out here to pick it up, man. I'm out here to pick it up, y'all. Look at that, look at that conveyor belt over there. I said conveyor belt. I saw my dog truck a deep dog out here one time. Not at this, that, not at this one, but he blow uh how he was out here. How he was picking up steel. But shoot. I might have to pick it up, man. I don't care. This load right here going from Darlington, uh, South Carolina, back to Rome, Georgia. Then we got a load Thursday picking up in Somerville, coming back to Georgia. So we gotta find us something to get us uh tomorrow. I'ma stop by the house at night. Uh and I'm gonna find me a load tomorrow, pick up after I drop this in Rome, and then uh Got to get to Charleston tomorrow, man, so I can pick up my Thursday load in Somerville and come back home. Should be back in Georgia on Thursday. I'm going to try to get the load off on Thursday if I can't. First thing Friday morning, then by, you know, by noon, early that, early than that should be, I'll be at the house. I'll be off, man. Yup. Got to find what works for you, dog. Got to find what works for you. I'm gonna pull up a little bit more. We in baby. Three now. We started out in zero. Oh, boy, I tell you. It's crazy.
All right. And it probably ain't like some of y'all to do it. But guess what? They gonna still get me paid the same. They gonna still get me paid the same. Man, it's dirty as a fool out here. Still gonna get me paid the same. Gotta be careful with that. That could tear a hole in my tar. That's why I put the, the flap under there to give me some extra support. But guess what? We gonna get it there. We finna get in the wind. Next day. YouTube, what's up, man? Next day, man, I'm delivering the load. I made it back to Georgia yesterday, man. And let me tell you, Coco, I don't know what's her problem, man. And I don't want to talk bad at her because I don't want her to act up this morning. But I made it back in Georgia. Got off 25, got on 75. Red engine, stop engine light, come on. I'm like, bro, no way, no way, no way. Come on, come on. So pull to the side, pop the brakes. You know, got my OTR2 plug up, pull it up, look at the live data. Everything seemed to be good, right? So I pulled back on the highway, driving, got off on my exit to go home the back way. Because I was going to stop by the house last night. And I did stop by the house last night to sleep in my own bed. Yep, sure did. Took a nice shower. Yep, sure did. Um, but I pulled over there, you know, in a safe space where I can get up in the morning and, you know, get back to the truck. Red engine light coming on going off coming on going off stop engine i must have pulled over like five times in between my, in between me getting on 75 and getting all the way to the house i'm like what is it man like what is it my live data on my otr2 saying my cooler reservoir reading 100 percent i go out there and i unplug the uh harness to the the sensor all right i got lights come on so i know the coat the, the sensor is reading so i'm like man what is it called mechanic he told me and it's a valuable lesson so y'all need to know this if you out there you got your own trucks so you can i can't call no company right now i gotta get up under that hood and figure this stuff out myself called the mechanic he told me the two things that would cause that red stop engine light is your oil pressure and your coolant level your coolant level sensor coolant level the coolant water level the water get down to a little bit like in, the, in the, the sensor read that there ain't no cooling in the uh, reservoir it's gonna pop that red light on and your oil pressure if the pressure ain't you know the right right you know what i mean it's gonna pop that light on so it's those two things man and, you know i got in the truck this morning same thing happened i'm also having a prep same thing with that boost pressure gauge man i'm still having you know problems with that so i gotta get this stuff fixed guys Telling you, it's one thing after another, man. They say be your own operator, though. They say be your own operator, dog. These parts right here is the parts that I don't like. I don't mind working, hard work. I do that all day. But when this joker go down, man, you stuck. You stuck, man. And God forbid, I'm on the load like I was yesterday, so I made it to my, I made it over here. Look, look, I'm here now. I'm here at the freaking, uh, the steel plant I had in Rome, Georgia. I, I, I made it over here to deliver my load. I got to go back to Somerville. I got a load book for tomorrow that I got to pick up and bring home. That was my home, my coming home load. So I was supposed to come here, drop this, today pick up something, go back over there, and then come back home and be home tomorrow, Thursday. So keep my fingers crossed. I'm going to go buy them parts, though, and I'm going to get me a cooling um, level sensor to keep on the truck just in case. That may, may be the problem. Now, I changed that sensor before. If y'all don't remember, drop down below and go watch the rest of the vlogs, man. Go watch the rest of the vlogs. My son keep calling me. Um, but go watch the rest of the vlogs and you will see where I fixed that. I had a problem with that uh that sensor. And I was all the way out there going towards Hartwell, Georgia. And I had to make it all the way back to Atlanta. It's crazy, man. So, fingers crossed, man, that I can uh figure this stuff out. And uh just keep pushing, just keep moving, man. But we're gonna deliver this load. We're going to put our dunnage back up under the trailer and uh, we're going to see what we got next. You too, man. I'm telling you, I get to the receiver, man. I finally made it, dog. Finally made it. 
told me the latest I can be here is 4.30, bro. 4.30. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been pushing it, coming through the Atlanta traffic to get all the way up here in Thomasville, up here by Augusta, dog. So I came all the way from Rome. So you know the traffic right there, the split from 75 to 285. Then you get up there, you know the traffic, 85, when you continue on 285. Then you know the traffic to get on 20. Then 20, you get on 20, it's some traffic. Man, I get here, I'm pushing it, man, I'm pushing it. I get here, go to the guard shack, you know, being very sincere about, you know, I apologize, I know I'm, you know, I know I'm pushing it. The lady told me, look at my watch. Bro, it's 430. She told me, we ain't taking no more. First of all, I turned in the wrong, I turned in the wrong, uh, in the wrong driveway. So the lady told me to go up and make a U-turn, come out and go to the next gate and go in there. The one I went in is for the log trucks, etc., etc. Now this is my first time here, I don't know. Now you telling me I show up and you can't take me? So that mean I gotta wait till seven o'clock the next morning? So I waited all night long. I'm getting loaded now though. Nothing but lumber, front to back. But boy, she pissed me off yesterday, dog. She pissed me off yesterday because she could've let me in. Because once I pulled through the gate, I saw six trucks waiting in line. Ain't even been loaded yet, man. I was here at 4.30. You said the call time at 4.30. I was pissed off, bro. I was pissed off. But it is what it is, man. You know, God probably was saving me for something yesterday. So I pulled to the side of the road and I relaxed. I was mad, but it is what it is. Today is another day. Um, we getting loaded. We got to tarp this load, the whole trailer too. Mm, 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 mm. But we gonna tarp and we gonna scrap it down and we'll get in the wind, man. We'll get in the freaking wind. Do what we gotta do. We can do what we got to do, man. It is what it is. Can't control it. Can't control what we can't control. And control what we can't control. But we getting loaded. We out here right here in this bay. You know. Uh, load of lumber over there. So, we'll get loaded. We'll get this down um, to Goose Creek, South Carolina. Pick up our load out of Somerville. And head back towards the house, man. Um, hopefully, everything is still good. Hopefully, Coco hold up. Hopefully, it was just a hiccup that night, man. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to sign out, man. And uh, just know, it's been a long day. It's been a long, long freaking day, man. A long, long night, should I say. Yesterday was stressful, man. Especially coming off, you know, the truck doing what they did the other night. Like, man, y'all don't understand, man. Just the driving and you on eggshells because you never know when that light may pop on never know but we will do what we got to do we'll get in the wind and uh i'm gonna keep y'all updated let's get this load get tarp get scrapped down and get to goose creek it's your boy young like i always tell you i appreciate you for uh tuning into the channel if you're new to the channel all i said you do is like comment subscribe drop a comment down below and tell you what's up if you're old to the channel you already know what it is man we out here making it happen we out here grinding shout out that boy frank needed to call me last night and we wrapped it up we talked uh big business uh, we talk uh, motivation, uh, inspiring, and inspiration. You know, pushing each other to be the better version of themselves. That's why they're doing his thing, man. So, uh, with that being said, this your boy Young, and I'm signing out. Young.